For all you Nick fans out there, you should be very happy for the season the Knicks have. And I'm going to tell you why. There's a lot to look forward to next year. The Knicks actually have a superstar player in Jalen Brunson. He doesn't not show up into the playoffs like one of our stars. This is a man that has been the face of the Knicks season this year. He has been everything the Knicks have needed and wanted at the point guard position. This is the best point guard since Walt Frazier. He's been sensational all season long, averaging almost 24 points. In the playoffs, he averaged close to 27, 28 points, especially in the Miami series. There's a lot to look forward to. Leon Rose has a lot of work to do in the offseason. That is the good side. The bad side of the offseason. They got to decide what they're doing with Julius Randle. I don't care if he was on the all-NBA team. The man doesn't show up in the playoffs. R.J. Barrett, when you look at his numbers, he averaged close to 23 points a game in the Miami series. Let's see how many giveaways did he have in the Miami series and how many shots he missed when he was open. There's a lot to look to in the offseason. Maybe they make a move for Giannis. Maybe they make a move for Luka Doncic, two guys that could want out for their respectable organizations that they play for. Leon Rose knows that he is not going any further with Tom Thibodeau. And if he brings him back again, it's a big mistake. I am a supporter of Tom Thibodeau. I think Tom Thibodeau is a great coach. The man's never won as a head coach in the league. He always wanted this job. He always wanted to bring a championship home to New York because he's from Connecticut and he grew up a Knicks fan. It's not going to happen. He has gone as far as he can take the New York Knicks. There are quite a few good coaches out there that are looking for jobs. One of them that won a championship in Toronto, in Nurse. He is available right now. He is a great defensive mind. He got the most out of Kawhi Leonard. He got the most out of that Toronto Raptors team. Then there's Budenholzer, who was just let go. Another championship coach. He was an assistant coach on the San Antonio Spurs with all those championships with Greg Popovich. He goes to Milwaukee five sensational years with Milwaukee. Every year practically in the playoffs. Every year almost coming out of the Eastern Conference, and yes, he won a championship with Giannis and that team. Those two guys are absolutely guys that would fit here and help the youngsters out here in New York. And then there's Kenny Atkinson that Milwaukee is actually interviewing right now. Kenny Atkinson would be a great fit for the New York Knicks with all the youngsters, Quigley and Obi Toppin and Grimes. He has done wonders for the youngsters. You saw what he did in Brooklyn. That place was not a circus when he was there until Kyrie Irving showed up there. And then all of a sudden, Kenny Atkinson is gone. Steve Nash is gone. It seems like everybody was gone. I believe the Knicks need to figure out who their coach is going to be next year. And they need to find another superstar to play with Jalen Brunson. They need a guy that could take over a game when Jalen Brunson is out, sitting out in foul trouble like he was in Miami in game six. They have to have another guy. And Julius Randle, the bricklayer, is not the guy. There is quite a few coaches that are available. This is a good offseason for the Knicks to really do their interviewing and maybe part ways with Tom Thibodeau. I don't know what Leon Rose's plans is, but he can't go into the offseason thinking that Tom Thibodeau is the guy that the Knicks are good in position to be a contender. They've proven they're not a contender. They were a five seed and they lose against an eight seed. An eight seed that has good players. Bam Adebayo played very well in this series. Butler is a great playoff player. Who else is good? Tyler Hero was out in this series. Out for the playoffs. Who is good on this roster. Who would start on any other roster in the NBA on this team? Nobody. They're very well coached. They have one of the best coaches in the NBA. But to me, Miami is not better than the Knicks. When we were going into this series, everybody thought that the Knicks had the advantage. They finally had home court advantage for the second round. It's the first time with Carmelo Anthony. Yeah, the two seeds. was the last time that the Knicks had home court advantage in the second round. But they lost against Indiana. So it seems like deja vu for the New York Knicks. So I don't know what the Knicks are planning to do. I'm sure Leon Rose has a good plan as we saw what he did last year, bringing in Jalen Brunson, the big acquisition in the offseason, probably the biggest in the NBA. The Knicks found themselves a superstar. Now they need to find themselves another one to play with Jalen Brunson. If they do that and find a coach that can coach these guys, these youngsters, and this team and maybe wake up Mitchell Robinson in the playoffs because this guy is the best offensive rebounder all season long and then all of a sudden in the second round against a Miami Heat team that was one of the worst offensive rebounding teams in the NBA absolutely out-rebound the top three offensive rebounding team in all of the NBA in the Knicks.